Grand Rising, welcome to my channel. This is Lighthouse. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Take what resonates from these messages. Please leave what does not. Use your own intuition with... Wow. I was just thinking. I was trying to say, use your own intuition with these messages, but I just trailed off. And I don't know, maybe I'm hearing paper trail. But everything you need to know is below the video in the description box. If you'd like to book a reading with me, you can do so at my website at www.lissislighthouse.com or contact me on IG at lissislighthouse79. Let's jump right in. I'd like to thank my ancestors and angels and my guides for allowing me to be a clear channel. I feel... And, and this is this reading is for water signs, water signs for the end of April, water sign reading. I feel actually I feel like some people are actually in water right now. I actually feel like I'm floating and, and it's a good feeling. It's, it's a wonderful feeling. It is. And I hope a lot of people are feeling the same. I live between I live in the place between sky and earth. I said that, I don't know, a few videos ago, but I don't know. This morning I watched another reading and the reader was on the beach and it was just, oh, it was beautiful. It was just giving me such high vibrations. And I know for me personally, I'm an earth sign, but water doesn't really matter what sign you are. Water has healing properties. Water is a part of the crystal kingdom. And um, gems, I'm hearing gems, crystals, water. So I don't know, maybe you guys are getting into crystal business. It's a wonderful idea. Not only is it what's trending right now um, for, you know, holistic purposes, they are wonderful tools for manifestation, for grounding energy, for empowerment. And they're really high vibing conduits of energy from the higher realms. I'm seeing a lot of teal. I feel like some people are actually on the beach right now or thinking about going to the beach or wish they were at the beach. I remember the last time I actually went to the beach was a long time ago, personally, and we were in Florida. I don't know if maybe somebody is thinking about Florida, is in Florida. I hear Miami heat. I'm actually feeling the sun. Feel the rain on your skin. No one else can feel it for you. Is what I just heard. <clears throat> but then the sun is shining and I, I'm tasting salt water. So somebody's definitely on the beach. I'm seeing a lighthouse. Ha ha. Spirit likes to laugh. <laughs> well, I'm seeing this is lighthouse. I know that's right. I know that's right. But I don't know. Maybe you're seeing a lighthouse in um one of my screensavers on the TV has a lighthouse uh there. And then there there's another that's showing me. I don't know. This is resonating with somebody. There's another screen sh shaver. Somebody shaving. Shit shower and shave. I just heard. Somebody shaving, or maybe your last name is Shaver. Shavers. I don't know. Myers. I, I get Myers. Myers group. I don't know. I take it as it resonates, but um, I, I'm seeing a lighthouse. I'm tasting the salt. I'm feeling the skin. I'm on the beach for all intents and purposes. They're showing me um that, remember that old Corona ad um, where you don't really see anybody. You just see somebody on the beach. You see it like you're just seeing the visual from behind the uh, beach chairs and they're you know, Corona, but because we're in Rona right now, Corona could mean a, 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 an array of things. Corona Queens, you're drinking Coronas, you have Corona disease. I, I hope not. I mean, there's so much going on right now, but, um, I'm getting a light felt light hearted energy here. Like you're on the beach and you're celebrating or you're at least, or at, at least. And then I just heard say less. Or maybe that, I don't know, that's a confirmation. Or maybe somebody was trying to figure out where they're going out of town. You know what's funny? 
a couple of readings ago and um spirit has shown me my oracle card that says i uh, we're going out of town i know this is last minute but we're going out of town and so i feel like i don't know maybe somebody was trying to figure out where we should go or where y'all should go out of town and the beach just came to them i am picking that up um you know newport beach newport news i'm picking up rhode island massachusetts ann arbor i'm just hearing all this information uh the hamptons um the coastline i don't know get him to the greek i just heard that movie was absolutely hilarious <laughs> spirit loves to laugh um my eyes are closed as i'm channeling these messages because i haven't even picked up the cards yet i'm definitely into it an intuitive reader and i feel like a lot of you guys are too if you're wondering if you're intuitive, you are. If you're wondering if you're a psychic, if you're a medium, if you should go into Reiki or whatever it is that your soul is calling in, calling in, somebody's calling in, or maybe somebody's calling into a radio station, maybe they want tickets. Whatever your soul is calling you to do, then you do that. You know what I'm saying? I am... I'm I'm getting information on um like maybe seagulls or some somebody's definitely by the beach. Um definitely it's definitely time for vacation or maybe you're thinking about moving by the beach but you're not sure beach life. I'm definitely seeing seashells. Daytona Beach, whatever beach get to get to one um Oh no, they just showed me the beaches in New York and I'm a New Yorker. I love my, I rep my set all the time, <laughs> but no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, but they show me some, mm -mm. Uh, uh, uh. I'm, I'm thinking more of along the coastline or, uh, South or at least North, certainly not in, certainly not in New York or at least not in the. I'm, I, and then I just heard Bay Area, San Fernando Valley, San Francisco, some somewhere, somewhere. Somebody's on the beach and it feels so good. I'm seeing the coast. I don't know if that's Santa Monica. I don't know, Cali. I'm just getting, I don't know, beaches. Love that movie. Maybe somebody's watching that movie, wants to watch that movie. Maybe that's their favorite movie. Um, I love that movie i realized that um yeah somebody's definitely under the beach under on on the beach under the boardwalk is what i heard um yeah water water um i'm being moved to tell you that a lot of our a lot of um what we're being called to do is balance your emotions heal the inner child and um i know what a lot of well, I can't say that a lot of the things that I say are controversial, but a lot of things that are actual absolute truth are controversial because we're taught, you know, we're taught everything that leads us away from the truth for a reason. But I, that's a story for another day. But the point of what I'm saying is water, when they speak about Jesus, when the Bible re um, refers to Jesus, and that is in air quotes, do research and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. When Jesus walked on water, they it the figurative meaning for that story or fable is that he balanced his emotions. The suite of cups in the tarot card have to do with the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Pisces, fish. But still, it doesn't really matter what sign you are. But I guess I'm just being moved to share this tidbit of information because it is a water sign reading. But Jesus walked on water means that he balanced his emotions. Balances his, him balanced his emotions. Now, a lot of people might not agree with that, but that's okay. You know, the universe meets everybody on their level, at their level of consciousness. And I just heard I'm on a new level. Well, that's why we're here to to into it, to learn, to gain knowledge, higher learning, higher power. Okay, let me get into. I'm on the beach and I'm still floating. 
a lot of people might feel like they're floating. I finally opened my eyes the whole time. My eyes were closed and it just felt so good. I was seeing a lot of teal, feeling sand in my toes. You know, sand always gets into places it has no business getting into. I used to love that about our trips to going to Jamaica. We used to go to Jamaica um, in the summer, every summer, and um, all summer, all summer. And we used to be chilling. And honestly, when I think about, we used to, like at the end of the school year, a lot of people used to be like, oh, we're going to summer camp. We're going here, we're going there. And I remember feeling, not jealous, but envious. Like, oh, I want to go to summer camp. It's an experience I've never had, never had. But as an adult, I can understand and appreciate the beauty of how much better summer camp. I mean, that's not to knock summer camp. The, the, you know, that that's not what I'm saying at all. I would love to have gone to summer camp. As a matter of fact, they're showing me one of my favorite movies, Indian Summer. I love that movie. Check it out. It's absolutely hilarious. And it's just a coming of age movie that's just watch the movie Indian Summer. But um, maybe we're having an Indian Summer. And then I'm hearing Indian Creek, Indian Creek, uh, Indian Creek Drive, North Indian Creek Road. I know that's in DeKalb County. Uh, Decab County, Georgia, first 48. I, I, I don't like that. That shit took a, uh, that energy took a left real quick, but I'll take it as it resonates. I'm just a messenger, but, um, I might come back to that message. I kind of lost my train of thought, but, uh, sometimes there's a reason for things. Oh, oh, what I was saying was our, on our yearly summerly trips to Jamaica we stayed between our family lived in the um, not in the country we lived in the city but we went from time to time to the beach and every time we used to go to the beach I remember when we came home well one you're exhausted and two you have a beautiful tan or I, I used to get a beautiful tan in, in less than an hour um, and the third thing was every time, every time I would lay down to go to sleep at night after our trip to the beach, I would feel like I'm floating. And a lot of us feel like they're floating right now because we are in between dimensions. There is a lot of uh, energy coming in from the higher realms to assist us with these transformations that I've been speaking about. If you watch any of my past videos, the planet Earth is ascending and it's splitting um, its inhabitants, us, and everything on the planet, our inhabit and the Earth's inhabitants include us. Um, the crystal kingdom, the rocks have even rocks have consciousness. The wind has a voice, um, but we're not taught all of these things so as to keep us control. But when you raise your vibration, you can speak to animals, you can speak to plants, you can speak to the trees, you can speak back to the wind, you can speak to your crystals. In another video, I was explaining my, my amethyst, her name is Amy. Get your own name, she says. She's telling you guys that again, but yeah, I don't give a fuck who thinks I'm crazy. Yeah, it sounds crazy. It does. It does. It, but it's the spiritual path is not a logical path. It is not. It's not a logical path at all. You can apply, they, they just said there's a method to the madness. Of course, there always is. You can apply logic, of course. A lot of people think that spirituality is hoopla because you can't see it. You can't see it, but you can't see God either. But that's not true. A lot of people feel they can't see God. Look around, open your eyes. There's nothing that is, is not God. God is the all that is, the higher power, the universe, the angels, whatever you want to call it. Infinite names, infinite realities, infinite dimensions, infinite possibilities. Abracadabra, I create as I speak. So this is what we're here to do. Learn not, um, you know, live, live and let live. Live and let live. Live and let live. Just because you're learning doesn't mean you have to knock somebody else who is not capable of learning or is not on your path. Because again, listening to my videos, we're all on our path. We're all here on a movie, on a movie set, so to speak, a cosmic movie set. And guess what? Our, our path is different. Everybody's part is different. 
You have some people on the ground crew. You have some people behind the scenes. You have some people in front of the camera. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. We are the council of light, family of light, team of light, planet of light, multiverse of light. And guess what? We're expanding. They said we're recruiting. That's right. We're only expanding, ever expanding consciousness, ever expanding unity consciousness now is what, what I just heard. The Council of Light would like to tell you, let's see, well, one, <laughs> to work your light. And this is the deck I'm using. Absolutely love this deck. Council of Light, Divine Orchestration. Give me one second to look it up. The Council of Light is page 94. Back in 94, I was in eighth grade. And look at how the numbers, the universe always speaks to us in numbers. 1994, okay? I don't know if somebody was born in 1994. Maybe your children was born in 1994. Something happened in 1994. But I feel like the energy is, maybe that's why um, a lot of the 90s uh, fashion is back. Because energetically, we're back in the, the 90s. This is what I'm hearing intuitively. And I feel it too. That's why a lot of people are hearing a lot of 80s music. I've been an 80s baby. I'm always an 80s baby. Love 80s and 90s music. But, um, you know, the fashions are coming back in to reflect just that, the 80s and the 90s. Divine, or divine orchestration. The Council of Light is a team of benevolent beings who are here to assist the raising of consciousness on this planet. That's what we're here to do. They're here to help you achieve your soul mission and they're guiding you every step of the way. However, because we live in a world where free will reigns, they cannot help you without your permission. If you would like to, if you would like their assistance, it's time to ask them for it. I was explaining this in, uh, I don't remember exactly which video of mine, but we have free will on this planet. And I'm not sure if Earth is the only free will planet or it's one of the few free will planet. Don't, don't quote me. You do your own research on that. But, um, Free will, the opposite of free will is um, unity consciousness. So that's the shift is happening. We're going from free will into unity consciousness. So unity consciousness means that it's you, what you want falls in line with the divine will. Seek first, what they're telling me? Seek first the kingdom of God and all its righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. See, a lot of people were taught in the matrix, you're taught to feed the flesh. And in feeding the flesh, that's all you get, feeding the flesh, right? But when you exit the matrix now, when you feed the spirit, people don't understand. In feeding the spirit, you also feed the flesh. But that's what they don't want you to understand. That's what they don't want you to know. Let me continue reading. They can help with all kinds of requests. Nothing is too big or nothing is too small. I feel like that's somebody's tagline for their business. No job too big, no job too small. Think of them as your personal team of helpers in the spirit realm. I was saying spirit realm, but I don't know. Sprite? I hear dirty Sprite. Spit? Think of them as your personal spirit helpers. Helpers in the spirit realm. They are willing and ready to step in and get to work. What would you like them to help you with? What tasks would you like to delegate to them? The Council of Light is a team of ascended masters, light beings, angels, archangels, ancestors, guides, galactics, elementals, devoted, excuse me, I was trying to say devoted, but they were trying to say div divided slipped out. See, that's what they want. Conquer and divide, but guess what? It's unite and divide. Unite and divide. Unite and divide. Either uniting or you're dividing. But right now, what we're trying to do is unite and conquer. You see what we're here to do? Completely fucking different. They want us to be conquered and divided. Conquer and divide. But we want to unite and divide. That is our job here. They want to thank you. Excuse me, let me, let me start reading that paragraph again. The Council of Light is a team of ascended masters, light beings, angels, archangels, guides, ancestors, elementals, galactics, all divided to, again, divided, coming out again. I don't know, maybe somebody's helping, having trouble with division. Um, I know personally, when my children ask me for help with math, I'm not the greatest at math, 
but I'm good at counting my money. I'm not the greatest at math because if you think that it's not set up that way for us to learn, for the kids to learn new math while we know the old math, what the fuck? Why do we need new math? What the fuck was wrong with the old math? That shit is, that's a, again, a story for another day, but do your homework. This, these are division tactics, okay? Because when you can't think about this, when you can't help your children inside the household, where do they go? To the streets, okay? Mommy don't understand. Mommy can't help me. Daddy can't help me. Oh, maybe the streets will help. Oh, okay. That is set up. Like Tupac said, we ain't into, we're not meant to survive because it's a setup. So you have to keep your fucking head up. Stay woke. You feel me? Stay woke. If you are a light worker, it is from them, the Council of Light, that you receive your personal mission. Like a spirit world, United Nations, they want to thank you so much for doing this work and devoting your life to uplifting the planet. Pray to them for clarity and guidance regarding your personal mission. Put in your requests and let them get to work. Again, when you show up, we show out is what they're telling me. 2112. 2112. And guess what? That reminds me of a club in New York. Mars 2112. We had gone there right after my uh, brother had transitioned into his, into his, um, into his new form. I'll say that. Um, Mars 2112. So maybe that has confirmation for something. Maybe that's an idea for a party. Back then, it was in, you know, a few years ago, almost 20 years ago now, but I don't know what it looks like now or if it's even um, open, but take that as it resonates. Hold the card to your heart. The invocation for this card is hold the card on your heart and say, Council of Light, I am ready to receive your help for, for fulfilling my personal Dharmic mission, D-H-A-R-M-I-C. And the root word for that is D-H-A-R-M-A. -A. Look that up, Dharma. Once you clear Dharma, then you're on your Dharmic mission. Excuse me. Once you clear Karma, K-A-R-M-A. -A. Once you clear Karma, then you're headed to Dharma. So you look that up. Thank you for guiding me with clarity every step of the way and sending me helpers and experiences that delight my mind, body, and soul. Here's what I'm being moved to tell you guys before I get back into this because, you know, that's how spirit works. You have a thought and then they come in with another thought. I'm being moved to tell you guys, and this does not matter if you are a water sign. Us light workers, and ask your spirit guys to you know, confirm this for you, but most of us have already cleared our karma. And if anybody feels that they want to bring any other unresolved business that they feel that they have to light workers and to earth angels that have already cleared their karma, if you are reading a paragraph, think about the dot, dot, dot. I'm trailing off. You feel me? You guys do the math on that. You figure that out. If they think Again, like I said in yesterday's video, the air sign reading, could you possibly rewind and come again? They said you're going to have to go back to the drawing board and start again with that one, okay? Because it's not happening. This is who we are. And if you don't know, now you know, says Biggie, because we're heavy hitters. They just said Funk Master Flex says this is something that you need to hear, Okay? Funk Master Flex says this is something that you need to hear. This is who the fuck we are. And they come up against it, they're going to find out some shit. You hear me? They're going to find out the hard way is what I'm hearing. Okay. Okay, I'm being... Move to read from my Anubis Oracle because I feel like a lot of people are on the law of one teachings like myself. Pata. Number 20. Maybe you're born on the 20th. You're 20 years old. You're 20 years old and you're just waking up out of the matrix. You're realizing that uh, this is bullshit. You're here on a job. 20 days till you move. 20, I don't know. Or oh, what's your 20? Interstate 20? What's your 20 means? What's your location? Where you at? Okay. Pata says, 
look at this you see how the cards don't lie Pata, the new eon imaginary visionary prophet the great creator god Pata, p-t-a-h i always every time i hear Pata, right i think of peter popped off Pata popped off the great <laughs> great the great creator God, Patel, has the power to imagine a new world and opens the mouth of creation to issue it forth. A lover of this world, this existence, and all things manifest. He is also a prophet and a seer of the future eons. Seer. Seer. S-E-E-R. So that's either seer or seer. Of the future, or both, of the future eons. He holds the potential of a golden age in his mind's eye we are in the golden age right now we are golden children this is the age of aquarius the golden age we humans are entrusted with his imaginings and have the potential to embody and act and create them when we tap into his vision he helps us to harness his ability to speak things into being before i continue abraham hicks says that we our words our words have the power to create worlds our words have the power to create worlds and also the good old Bible made in his likeness and image made in their likeness and image. And when I say they, he, she, whatever it, whatever you would like, it's all of the above. There is nothing that is not God, nothing that is not part of the divine plan. So in knowing that we, he, we are a part of the force. We are the force. His dominion reaches down through the earth into the underworld or inner world and all the way up into the cosmos and the Akashic realms. Look up Akashic records. Look up the tree of life, the book of life. His dominion reaches down through the earth into the underworld or inner world and all the way up into the cosmos and the Akashic realms, including all spaces in between, the all that is and the all that is not. There is nothing that is not he. I just heard he is I and I and he is I and I and am him. Pata was revered, revered. I don't know. River, revered, Paul Revere. Maybe somebody's learning about Paul Revere in school and in class. Pata was revered by the ancient craftsmen, artists, and builders of the monuments of Egypt for he assisted them in manifesting their co-created dreams, providing both ideas and tools. If you have drawn this card, you are connecting with Pata and being asked to open your mouth to speak your truth as you have seen it from your highest visions and to help to co-create a new era with your right speech and right actions. This applies to you personally and and to whatever situation or question you bring to the oracle, it also applies to the greater collective vision of your future, of your world, of our world. You are being asked to see clearly with your heart and into your heart and to bring forth all the creations through that channel of your heart and mind. Close your eyes. Focus on the image of Pata. Close your eyes. Close your eyes like I was doing and channel the information like I was doing at the, inform at, at the information. Somebody's at an information session for college, maybe? Information session for school, for their child's school. Close your eyes and focus on the image of Pata and use your heart to see and listen. Then, in your mind's eye, imagine what it is that you would like to create. Remember, your thoughts and words influence reality. Do as, as do your, um, excuse me. Remember, your thoughts and words influence reality, as do your actions. You too can manifest your dreams. This is what I'm talking about. Made in their likeness and image is not figurative language. We're just taught that it is to keep us fucking powerless. Okay? 2911, as I said that. 2911 is 1111, as I said that. All ones means it's time to go. Four of wands. Okay? So guess what? I hear wands at the ready. That's what time it is. It's time to speak life because... We are made in their likeness and image. We have the power to create worlds. There is no struggle in nature. So stop talking that bullshit. And like I was saying in the air, um, this is, excuse me, this is a water sign reading, but yesterday's air sign reading and all of my readings will tell you that, listen, you must speak life. You can't speak uh, chaos, chaos, galoshes I'm hearing. So somebody is, is stuck in the rain or 
getting wet in the rain or running, singing in the rain or running in the rain because I'm getting that they're having fun. I, I don't get that you were stuck in the rain and now you have an attitude about it. I, I, I get that you went out in the rain purposely. And again, water has healing qualities. Um, I get a lot of information in the shower. I didn't realize why I love to wash my hands so much or wash the dishes so much because, oh, it's so soothing to me, you know? And but this is what I realized before. Before, you know, you realize things every day and this is what I'm realizing. Like, I love to wash dishes, not because I like to clean up. I do actually, you know, like to clean up. That's one of my businesses before I started um, reading intuitively and become before before I was a psychic or before I recognized or realized or remembered I was a psychic I love to clean and uh, you know organize so I have a professional organizing business I might put that back into action you know I love to do it because it's 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 therapy for me um, so get into what you would like to do for yourself speak that into your life and as my website, a little bit under um, the About tab on my channel, it tells you that, listen, it's already, it's already written. It's already been spoken. We're past speaking it. It's already been spoken. So now say thank you. So how you, how you manifest is you thought, word, and action. Faith without works is dead. So through thought, word, and action is how you manifest by saying thank you. Thank you for my infinite abundance. Thank you for my uh, channel. Thank you for my unexpected business. Thank you for my children doing well at school. Thank you for my family being healthy. Thank you for our generational healing. Whatever the fuck you want to thank the universe for, you may do so. And look at this. You see? Oh, somebody wants to go to the River Nile. Somebody's at the river now. Somebody's visiting, about to visit. Somebody's born on the 22nd. Two plus two equals four. Somebody's born on the fourth. But look at what I'm telling you. Arco, water. Sacred arco, arco, archetypal element of water. And you can look up archetypes as well. Because this is what, this is what um, the law of one teachings talk about. The archetypes of the netter and the netter rule. Water blesses us. It blesses all of life. Everything in nature thirsts for water. Trees, animals, mountains, humans. In our human bodies, water is synonymous with blood. The Nile is the bountiful river that is the reflection of the river of the night, the Milky Way. Our beautiful planet is located here. I'm sure we all know that, but some people are not from this planet, so they don't know. Most of us are not. None of us are from this planet. I mean, spiritually speaking. You know what I'm saying? The Nile is a bountiful river that is the reflection of the river on the night, the Milky Way. It is our star mother's counterpart on Earth. That's so cool. I love knowing things like this. I've always loved knowing things like this. It is our star mother's counterpart on Earth. Nowhere on Earth is there such a contrast between fertility and barrenness, between life and death between abundance and desolation as in the Nile Valley, especially where the river's influence halts at the desert's edge. In Egypt, all life is dependent upon the Nile, and the Nile in her generous and gracious flow feeds all of life. As the Nile flows through Egypt, water flows through our lives, offering fluidity, compassion, intuition, <sighs> breath, nurturance, intimacy, and sensitivity. It teaches us about ebb and flow. It teaches us its many forms, liquid and solid, vapor and mist. Water teaches us about eternity by showing us how to have faith as we move through the different states of being and consciousness, as well as those of form. We learn how to feel through water. We learn about emotion, sensitivity, and unconsciousness. Water cleanses the lenses of our... <laughs> that sounds like somebody's, uh, I don't know, blog. It cleanses the lenses. It sounds like a name of something. Water cleanses the lenses of our psychic awareness and nourishes our intuition. When you draw this card, when you draw this card, it is time to enter the river. It is time to return to the primal waters of the unknown, trusting that you will be fed and nurtured by the great mystery. Relax. 
perhaps make some time to immerse yourself in water experience floating and feeling yourself upheld by the waters of life this is an opportunity to, for deep cleansing and renewal and trust water as in your alley in this reading is the medium through which you will respond to what is needed at this time all of water's unique qualities are available to you now and i'm going to reread that last sentence this is an opportunity for deep cleansing and renewal and trust water as your alley in this reading is maybe somebody's uh name is alley water as your alley in this reading is the medium through which you will respond to what is needed at this time all of water's unique qualities are available to you now remember what i was telling you remember what i was channeling before we got to this water uh page and for the water readings but not just water readings uh not just water signs excuse me every sign oh my god like i said water is just ugh, water it, you heard what i said you already know water is is necessary it's necessary in our physical bodies it's necessary in our life you guys already know that water drink it a lot of people don't drink water i'm hearing oh i guess i'm channeling a lot of messages today um i'm hearing that somebody has kidney stones you're having a lot of pain in your back back pain and taking a lot of sharp deep breaths uh, you're not drinking enough water leave the coke alone and take that how it resonates i'm seeing coca-cola but we're all grown here you understand i said leave the coke alone so take it as it resonates go get i don't know i'm getting i i, I see the vita the vita dialysis so somebody maybe is getting uh has a kidney transplant, uh, kid eating kidney beans, getting dialysis. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. But look at this. Look at the tools. Two, two, two means trust. Look up angel numbers. Look up angel numbers. Do you guys have any? Oh. Okay, let me take this off. Let me see what they're trying to tell me. Because sometimes they talk to us. Sometimes we trail off uh, because spirit is talking to us. Faith is taking the first step even when you don't see the whole staircase. Martin Luther King Boulevard. I just heard I'm good. We good on any. We good on any MLK Boulevard. We good. We good on any MLK Boulevard. We good. Beyonce and J. B and J. B and J. High Priestess. Guard. High Priestess Guard. In the in the um in the tarot deck. Faith is taking the first step even when we don't see the staircase. So that's what's happening right now. A lot of faith is being tested. A lot of people say they have faith, but when shit hits a fan, you go running. And that's not to say that I'm not making fun because it all happens to us. But <clears throat> excuse me, the universe needs you to have faith. Where is the faith that you say that you have? Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you in my righteous hand universe knows every single hair on your head it hasn't forgotten about you you forgot about me you know one day one day that's you know before i became psychic on my journey i was going through it <clears throat> and i just felt you know angry and i was disgusted and i was dismayed going through shit and i said you know what the fuck man why the fuck would you forget about me how are you just gonna leave me out here like this you know like we all feel that way sometimes like we're being left like what the fuck everything is happening to me but the journey is is not is is just shifting your perception it's not what happened to me you have to think about it like why is it happening for me what lessons do i need to learn what do i need to fix the universe is always saying yes to whatever it is that we want you say yes to me mediocrity mediocrity uh maybe somebody's cooking okra mediocrity i don't know maybe that's a business name anything that you feel is a good name for your business it is because that's the reason that you're being um plunged i don't know maybe somebody's wearing a plunged neckline <clears throat> excuse me but you're being um you're being taken into um no that's not what i mean to say you're being shown what you need to do and if it's you know you keep getting the same idea that's your spirit guides telling you that it's a great idea or not you should know how you feel you 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 feel by emotions stop 
stop trying to skip the fucking struggle. You have to feel it to heal it. You have to feel it to heal it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. You have to feel it to heal it. Let me read what this says and then I'll go into what I was going to say. Keeping it positive won't insulate you from not having, excuse me, keeping it positive won't insulate you from having emotions and needing to evolve. You're not going to spiritual your way. You're not going to spiritual your way out of hitting the next layer of wounds to heal. So many of us make the mistake of thinking we'll arrive and that will be that with the life lessons and shit. Personal growth is more like peeling an onion other is personal growth is more like peeling an onion than like climbing a mountain. It gets stinkier and stinkier and you cry more, but everything gets juicier the deeper you go. The true spiritual badasses don't pretend like their opinions don't stink. Again, this is being highlighted. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's being highlighted in the water reading, but I get that it's not specifically for water signs. You have to feel it to heal it. And a lot of people are numbing themselves down right now. Numbing themselves down and dumbing themselves down. Numbing themselves by uh, outside means. Self-medicating. Self-medicating is what I heard. Drinking, smoking, I hope not shooting up or snorting, but again, I'm not here to judge. I'm just a messenger. I'm just a medium. I'm just a channeler, the conduit. These are not my messages. Reach out. Oh, God. I just heard suicide hotline. and They're showing me the number. I can't see. It's only bits and pieces, but I guess it's different numbers for different states. I'm so sorry that if anybody's having suicidal, suicidal thoughts or suicidal ideation, for some people I'm being moved to tell you, start to discern if it's your own physical energy or energy that's putting being thrown your way because there's a lot of... Um, a lot of light workers, and not just light workers. A lot of people are under um, uh, death magic, death spell, spiritual. And I'm getting my phone just started re ringing. And guess what number it, it rang? 917. So again, New York, I don't know. You know, take it as it resonates. But um, there's a lot of, we're under spiritual attack right now. So do what you must to protect yourself. Crystals, burning the candles, speaking intentions, your gratitude journal, meditation. Uh, you know, physical protection, self-defense classes, uh, you know, stun guns, uh, pepper spray, you know, firearms, whatever you need to feel that you need to do to protect yourself, you do just that. We grown out here and shit real in the field out here right now. But again, if you having a problem, be grown and don't take that shit out on the fucking everybody else got their own shit going on, especially during um, somebody's in a coma or about to be put into one. I meant cor Wow. Ooh, I meant Corona, but I'm hearing Cornea and Corona Queens, the Corona actual city of Corona. And so maybe it's Corona Queens. Maybe somebody is going to be put into a coma. I have no ideas or a comma. Fuck up these commas I just heard. I know that's right. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Who wants to be put into a coma when we could be fucking up these commas? You're putting yourself into a coma by not getting the help that you need. You're putting yourself, you're, you're taking things out on the world and um, putting your problems in everybody else's hands when they can't help you. They got their own shit to deal with. A lot of people lost family members, 43, 34. So 77, maybe a family member was 77. You were born in 1977. <clears throat> uh, you're 43 years old. Again, take it as it resonates. Spirit gives me bits and pieces sometimes and sometimes they give me uh, whole messages. Um... The clue cards, right, usually don't have very good messages. See how it's dark on the card? It usually has gloomy messages. But today, this kernel mustard, meaning having faith the size of a mustard seed, because you see how it, it goes along with... Um, this card, having faith the size of a mustard seed. When you have faith the size of mustard seed, your possibilities are endless. Endless. Endless possibilities. Do you guys have any other um, messages for the water signs? Look at this. First card out. This is my Dr. Seuss deck, which I absolutely love. Excuse me. 
excuse me, E. I've just heard um gas tanks all gas tanks on E, but all drinks on me. Look at this. <laughs> this is my other day. Gas tanks on E, but all drinks on me. Wipe me down. Wipe me down. I love this stuff. But look at this. Gas tanks on E, but all drinks on me. This is at the top of both the elephant. And this elephant, maybe you're as big as an elephant. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe you love elephants. Um, the ele This elephant reminds me of Ganesha, the remover of all obstacles. Do you guys have any... Look. Look what comes out. Me. That's what you need to be. You, the re reader, need to be focused on yourself. And look, you. You need to be focused on you. Maybe you need a new umbrella. Maybe it's raining and your umbrella broke. Maybe you love that Rihanna song. Or maybe you feel like it's raining on your head and everybody else is sunny for. Well, if that's the case, then you need to worry about you. And then, look at this. Maybe somebody's Mexican. Somebody's going to Mexico. Look, look, look what they say. You, you're going to Mexico. I get Tulum. Look, you see? Mex Tulum has two U's in it. Tulum, Tulum, Mexico. Yes, I know that's right. I know that's right. AC, I just seen AC and ACE. So AC, maybe you're turning on an AC. Maybe you're finally getting an AC. Maybe you need to buy one. It's broken. AC also means Atlantic City for me. GA. Georgia. AG. Hey. You guys have any other messages? Go greatest of all time, man. This 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 is this is what this is why we're a part of the the Council of Light. Okay? Any other messages from this deck? I am getting hot. Here down south in this state. Right, it kind of it kind of gets hot as the as as the day goes on. Like it'll be seventy in the morning and then by ninety by. Here we go. This is the message again. You saw the shuffling I did. Greatest of all time. Maybe your name starts with G. Somebody starts with G. Your cup size is G. Bra cup size. I just got that. Any other messages, guys, from this deck? V. V for Vendetta. I'm hearing V for Vendetta. Maybe somebody just watched that movie. It's your favorite movie. <sighs> Violin. You're learning to play. You love to listen to it. Or I just heard play a tune for me on the world's smallest violin. I had seen a SpongeBob uh, SquarePants episode. Um, SpongeBob is not for kids. Absolutely not for kids. I thought I would die. I died twice. When, when Spongebob said, please play a tune for me on the world's smallest violin. Now, our, my own personal oracle deck. Here's, here's what's going on right now. I am fearless. Some people, some people is fearless. For some people, this is a trigger warning. Some people are fearless. And some people, this is a trigger warning. Look, what the fuck? Just say yes. I know that's right. Some people are feeling overwhelmed. And some people are getting wish fulfillment. Some people the ancestors are happy with and some people the ancestors are displeased with. Take it as you, as it resonates. But again, if you are having a problem, it is absolutely your individual responsibility unless, of course, you have a disability of some kind that is... Uh, not a self-diagnosed disability is what they're telling me. An actual di uh, di uh, an actual diagnosis of a disability. Disabled, maybe you're in a handy uh, wheelchair and um, you can't get around, but take it as it resonates. But all able-bodied individuals, I'll put it like that, all able-bodied individuals, you're grown. It's your responsibility to take responsibility and accountability for your life stop taking it out on the rest of the fucking world because everybody else has their own fucking problems you hear me nobody wants to hear that shit when they're going through their own shit you see what i'm talking about still not over this but on top of it is please forgive me 
go ahead and get you some go ahead and get you some healing that's what i'm getting from this i want to be with you is um upside down so i feel like that's a confirmation with from for somebody here's why you need you don't need anybody that's uncompromising the way i see it is we're in rona life is short you guys still want to be dealing with people who want to be dealing with fuck shit then that's gonna be on you that sounds like a personal problem to me and guess what? These are some people are saying, what are we going to do now? Because these are, I get this is message from people who don't know what they're going to do now because they depended on you and you're doing something different. Well, guess what? That's their problem. Again, still not over this. Again, their problem. Didn't I tell you that shit? Didn't I tell you that shit? They're saying, didn't I tell you that shit that it was a problem? And the ancestors are saying, didn't we tell you that shit that it's your fucking problem because we tried to help you and you don't want to listen? When the ancestors uh, make me uh, slam down a car like that, they're just disgusted. They're disgusted. I want your life. Mine sucks. Hurt people, hurt people. Again. Again. That's not anybody else's problem. Go do what the fuck you need to do for you. Okay? Are you still down? You're so sexy to me. Good. I hope that you, everybody, <laughs> I'm hearing I'm too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy, it hurts. Future. I'm seeing any messages, air signs, excuse me, water signs. Maybe you're dealing with an air sign. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, water signs. Any messages for the water sign? Look at this shit. Nosy neighbors, but it flew over here. So that means to say that one, the neighbors, the neighbors don't want you to know is the neighbors. And two, it flew over here. So that means to say that anybody um, accused them of it, they, they, they don't never know what happened. Okay? They don't never know what happened, but how can they, now they have anxiety, the nosy neighbors. I don't know who this applies to, but it applies to somebody. Your mother was promiscuous and maybe that's why you're confusion and chaos. Maybe that's why you're confused and, and chaotic. Well, guess what? Again. Here's the confirmation. Okay? That is the confirmation about what I was saying. Your mother was promiscuous, so you're confused. Again, heal the inner child. I'm sorry. You're still not over this. Sometimes it's hard to get over things, but you have to because if you plan to move forward in this life, then you must heal yourself. You must reparent yourself. Anxiety are coming out again. Divinely protected is upside down. For So for some people, they're, we're divinely protected. Some people are not, and they know why. And so here's depression on top. And you're depressed because you find out that you're not divinely protected. And the ancestors are saying, I'm just being honest. I am my ancestors' wildest dreams. I just saw, how can I fix this? They're telling me, whoever needs to fix... Listen, they're saying, that to, how can I fix this? You are so sexy to me. Look at what's coming up. Unhinged. That's a movie, too. Crazy, too. Crazy movie. Maybe... Who, who is unhinged? Let's, let's ask that. Who is unhinged? I just stopped that because somebody is standing next to me. I know it's one of my ancestors. Look, I'm out of here. So they know they fucked up. This is the person who is unhinged, by the way. And I know that because it's, well, I know that. And then secondly, it's in the same, uh, same color ink, orange. So I'm getting orange county. And you know what's so funny? I, I thought about that this morning. Orange County. So that's either Orange County in California, Orange County in uh, New York, or Oranges. Oranges, Florida, or maybe you like oranges or orange juice. Uh, Debbie Downer, Enlightenment, Ascension. Prayed up. Infinite possibilities. I need you in my life. Let's elope. Dishonest and disworthy. Like the book, like the cards were saying earlier. This is um this is the division. Nosy neighbors again. I feel like you maybe have two nosy neighbors. I'm just being honest came out again. So that's so so that's the confirmation. You have two sets of nosy neighbors. 
Or maybe you have two homes and the neighbors at both your homes are fucking nosy. I get that for some people. Winter time. Age of Aquarius or maybe uh, the sign of Aquarius. I want your life mindset. Okay. Again, your problem. We have been understanding. Look, definitely the neighbors. Sneaky neighbors. Nosy neighbors twice and sneaky neighbors. Here's what the ancestors said. Go ahead and get you some. Step up and get served is what I just heard. You, you, you just got let go is what I just heard. Older woman. Older woman again. Come to my house is upside down. Hell no. I get that this older woman wants you to come. <laughs> Won't you come over? Aaliyah, hell nah. This is what I'm getting. Go ahead and get you some. Younger woman. That's who you're into, the younger woman. Not the older woman. How can I fix this? Shit's so obvious. Shit's so obvious that you're into the younger woman, not the older woman, but the, old, the, the older woman is mad about it. Somebody speaks with authority when they said, no. I'm not interested anymore. I don't want this anymore. They said, I remember our good times. You're the hottest thing under the sun. That's what the person who wants you is saying. That shit's so obvious. Please forgive me. No more third parties. I promise. I promise. She don't have to know is whatever. Excuse me. She don't have to know is what I just heard. Down for whatever. My children don't like me. My children hate me. Don't trust me. Oh, my God. Yeah, because you down for whatever. You don't give a fuck about the kids. You just worried about the wrong things. That's what I'm getting. Whew. Other person speaks with compassion. Please forgive me. They've been understanding enough. And guess what? You see the understanding came out. They've been understanding for long enough. They're out of here because they want to deal with somebody that's high vibing. They've tried to be understanding with you and you're taking your issues out on the world. But you know what? This is what I'm getting. This is either you or somebody. Is this, this, this is connected to what I've been saying. They're done. I'm out of here. Remember that card a few, few, there's a, excuse me a few uh, cards ago i'm fearless i am fearless i'm out of here i'm fearless okay i'm going to my wish fulfillment all right the ancestors are displeased because i'm in the wrong place i know where i'm supposed to be and i'm headed there now i want a family with you i want a family with you please just say yes i'm headed your way i'm overwhelmed with the fuck shit and i'm commun coming in to communicate that to you Maybe somebody's getting married. Legal documents. Maybe somebody's getting a divorce. Divorce resolution is what I just heard. Dissolvement of the dissolution of properties. Somebody is getting something is getting dissolved, or somebody's diluted, or you're diluting. Surprise visit. I have a surprise for you. Trigger warning again. Now this trigger warning is I get blam blam. Trigger warning. Again, protect yourself. Any other message, go ahead and get you some. See? Step up and get served, say the ancestors. You want to play? Let's play. Play ball. But they're showing me safe. We're safe. You know how the umpires go safe. We're safe. The, 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 the light workers. Anybody else is going to step up and get served. Look. They've been a thief. And the ancestors say we have the green light tango goal to assist our family members that's that's us that's you the, the 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 divine the ancestors say god forgives we don't god is giving us the green light tango goal to handle business for our for our descendants and that's you because we're prayed up any other messages people other people have poor mentality and there's a difference between being poor and being broke Broke is uh, broke is what I consider. You know, you're you're financially challenged, or you're in between paychecks. But we have to learn to recreate the narrative. So you gotta speak life. I e don't say I'm broke, and don't even say I'm in between paychecks. You speak life. Thank you for my infinite abundance. Now, thank thank you for my expected income. Thank you for my unexpected income. 
I'm being told to burn ancestor money. And here is why this is important. If your ancestors give you the okay to burn ancestor money, then, uh, then you can do so because it helps to pay the ancestors debt off in the higher realms. Um, so they can assist you with paying your debt off in this realm. Here's the warning. Here's the warning. Here's a very big but. If you ever, anybody who's not authorized to burn ancestor money, and when they do it, they burn it, you're going to see some shit, boy. You're going to see some shit. You're going to have to, you're going to be taking the ancestors' money. If the ancestors do not authorize you to burn money for them, and you burn it anyway, you, whoo. This is what they said to that. It should so obvious that you're going to have a problem if you don't do what we ask. Or if you're dis disobeying and disregarded. Somebody is named Gordy, Gordon, Gorton. It says shit so obvious that you're going to have a problem if you continue to dis disregard our, um, you know, what we're telling you to do. Okay, any other messages? Any other messages? Okay, let, this is the last message. This is what they're saying. The ancestors are stepping in for your transformation. That is the last message. Water signs, that has been your reading. Thank you so much. Uh, you can uh, reach me on Instagram at Lissa's Lighthouse 79. Or you can book a personal reading at my website, Lissa'sLighthouse.com. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you at the next reading. You guys be blessed.